I've got an exceptionally fast TT bike for you here today. This is the Cervelo P5 of Jumbo Visma rider Primoz Roglic and Olympic time trial champion. And that's why it has this exquisite gold and black paint job. I'm going to tell you all about it, but this is such a special bike that, um, well, I've been told I'm not allowed to touch it or measure it. But uh, don't worry, I can still see all of the cool details. So uh, you're going to know everything you need to know. So Primoz Roglic, one of the best time trialists in the world right now, Olympic champion. And so his setup is really interesting to me because there's lots of neat details in here to make this bike as fast as possible. Jumbo Visma clearly leave no stone unturned when it comes to maximizing the performance of their time trial bikes and their, their riders. And they really do pay attention to all the marginal gains. But first, I think we should just have a look at this paint job because it truly is exquisite. Now, I hope this comes across on camera, uh, but in the sun, it really, really pops. So it's got like glittery, shiny parts in the, in the gloss black here uh, with this sort of like iridescent glitter that's arranged in a ring pattern, which I'm guessing might be alluding to the, the Olympic rings and that he's Olympic champion. And then you've got these rings in the fork as well, which is gold. And then this nice gold Cervelo logo on the down tube and then the various sponsors on the back of the bike. But it really, really is a beautiful bike, especially when it's paired with that big black single chain ring uh, from SRAM. So I'm told that's a 58 tooth ring and that's, that's the biggest uh, chain ring that Primoz tends to use in time trials, an absolute dinner plate. Um, but he does go smaller depending on, on, the, on the parkour that he's racing on. I like that he's using a one by setup because, you know, I always say this for time trialing, especially on flat courses, it makes total sense. You shouldn't be in the little ring in a flat time trial. And so reduce that frontal area and make the bike uh, faster, especially when you've got 12 cogs on the back. Um, speaking of which, though, they have got a chain catcher to stop the chain getting dropped. And this is a really neat chain catcher. I've not seen this one before, but it's from Wolf Tooth. And it's just a really nice piece of machined aluminium. But it's just really smart, really neat, and looks very aero, streamlining uh, that portion of the bike. And while we're in this region of the bike, I can see the cranks are 170 millimeters that uh, the Primos runs, so slightly shorter than, uh, than, than what is typically used, but helps you get your hip angle um, a bit greater. And then also he's got the Wahoo Speedplay Aero pedals on there. Very nice, and a quark power meter. Something else uh, I can see down here as well is while I'm on waxed chain patrol, uh, this chain is waxed. So top marks to the Umbo Visma mechanics for that. Uh, some nice sort of uh, drivetrain efficiency gains being made there. Now, while on the subject of other marginal gains, we've got the tyres. Now, these are Vittoria Corsa Speeds. They're the specific time trial tyre from Vittoria. They're pretty fragile and they don't last very long, but they are independently tested to be absolutely rapid. One of the fastest tyres available. They're 25 millimetres front and rear, and they're both set up tubeless uh, onto these reserve wheels. So we've got a reserve 77 on the front, I'm guessing that's the depth of it. And um, we've got a reserve disc on the back, which has this interesting sort of, well, it's, it's not quite lenticular. It's got an interesting shape on the back of it, but these 25 millimeter tires fit nicely onto the, onto the rims. I have noticed that some riders in time trials um, on other teams are using 28s on the back now, but that's not the case here, 25 front and rear. Now we have to talk about the cockpit because I mean, it's exquisite, isn't it? It is a thing of absolute beauty. This is a, a custom uh, cockpit that's been made uh, by Vision. But what's beautiful is it's entirely custom for the P5. So it has this mono riser here that goes in into the headset that can be adjusted up and down uh, very easily. So you can tweak the position. That's much easier than some of the older TT bike models where you have to put out spaces. Having that thing where you can just move it up and down it's uh, it's very practical but this has been completely customized for Primoz so this is all shaped to him and his precise hand position uh, presumably in the wind tunnel and through other aero testing the front end is just so important but you've got the shifters integrated neatly under there uh, where his hands and where his thumbs go and then you've got this what appears to be a 3d printed mount that sits between the two uh, extensions with a tiny Garmin on it now this is, it, well, I saw the mechanics fitting it to the bike before we filmed it. It wasn't the easiest thing to fit in. They actually had to sort of like screw it into place. I'm guessing that having a smaller Garmin 
and uh, and having it sort of very low profile and sort of screwed in there's probably a slight gain there i mean the front of the bike is crucial and just having that all neat and very close and flush it's hard to fit but yeah it's probably a bit more aerodynamic and that's probably why they're they're doing it but yeah it's very neat um what well, it is a beautiful front end and then on the sides we've got a fairly sort of standard width base bar that look well it looks to be about 38 centimeters wide off my eye i'm, I'm quite good at spotting these things um and then we've got shifters um on the base bar as well something else i've spotted around the head tube area is well, the P5 has a, an interesting design. It's kind of like a sort of hinge design for the head tube. We see that on a few TT bikes these days. But there appears to be a little piece of rubber section that's been cut out and put in the gap uh, where the head tube is, which just looks like it's just smoothing it out and just making it a little bit more aerodynamic. It's just a little tweak. Um, also, we're not seeing a bottle on here at the moment. And in place of the bottle, there's just this nice sort of patch of plastic that covers up the bolt holes um, so that there's no little holes showing which can can catch the wind of course bottles aren't used in short time trials only in long ones because the, the bottles often make the bike less aerodynamic although for training purposes we often see the mechanics putting a round bottle on other details then well i can see this physique saddle on the top here and this appears to be a new one i've uh, I'm not familiar with this particular Physique time trial saddle. It's definitely a time trial specific saddle because it's very stubby nosed and it's very wide at the front with a, with a cutout. But it's not the Physique Mystica, which for years has been their TT saddle. It, it appears to be a new model and it doesn't have a badge on it at the moment. So yeah, I've not seen that before, but it's very uh, nice and has a very sort of nice carbon railed construction and carbon underbody uh, to the saddle as well. You see the carbon rails slotting into that. It's um, yeah, very smart. And the other thing to note is the rotor choice. So the sort of standard that you see for neutral service is 160, 140. But for time trials, we're seeing a lot of teams running the smaller 140 rotor on the front. And that's because in a time trial, the team car is right behind every rider as they go. So they, can, they don't need neutral service. And the smaller rotor is just that little bit more aerodynamic, saves a tiny bit of weight. It's a marginal gain and you're not really breaking heavy in time trials. Although if it was maybe a mountainous time trial, maybe they'd swap that out for a 160. Um, in terms of the cassette on the back, it's just a, a standard 10, 28, but they do change the cassettes out depending again on, on the parkour. They've got blooming loads of them back in the truck behind me. So there you have it, pre Moz Roglic's TT bike. Sorry that I, um, well, I can't wait it for you or do a free hub sound check or, or measure it, but yeah, I'm, um, I'm under strict instructions from the, um, from the team at Jumbo Visma. They don't want any of Primoz's secrets being given away to his rivals. Uh, so, well, that's, that's that. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think of the bike. Is this the most beautiful time trial bike in the Pro Peloton right now? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more Pro Bikes like this, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.